Now even though there's a few options for putting fuel tanks onto the jet powered skateboard, I can do long cylinders on each side or perhaps a custom made, custom molded fuel tank that fits around the engine. My dad actually suggested strapping the fuel tank to my back and having a hose that goes down. It's an original idea, I'll give him that, but too messy, too stuff everywhere. I don't, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with this idea just now. I don't know if it's gonna be the final idea, but I think I need to keep the momentum going and just go with that because it is a clean solution. Strapping a flat tank like this to the bottom of the board. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use, I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount it, anything like that. But what it means is, let's say I do that, what I can do right now is focus on mounting the jet engine to the back of the board, which is kind of a simple thing. Now I've mentioned before, this, this bit here, that's just the mount for on that bench there. It's not gonna be for the actual thing. I mean, it's hideous. Functional, but hideous. So what I'm gonna do is mount it in the most minimalist way possible, which is how I do everything, really. Now, there's two good things about starting to make the mount on this. One is that it keeps the momentum going and keeps the project moving along. Two is that it might work out right away, but I might go, oh, I can't do it this way, I can't do it that way. You know, rather than sort of magically coming up with the perfect solution and it going like, oh, it didn't quite work out. If I do it now, how I think it should go, then I'll find if I need to make any tweaks or modifications or if any issues arise that I just didn't see. The only downside is that, you know, it takes time and energy and cost, especially when you're using titanium. And if it is wrong, then it's kind of costly to start again, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. This isn't a budget project. I don't spend a few grand on an engine and like $500 on a skateboard to make a DIY budget project. It's just not my style. First rule of jet engines, mount it the right way around. Now things are about to get serious because I have a highly accurate measuring device. I think that is pretty much all the dimensions I need. Messy, barely legible. As long as I can read it, that's all that matters, right? Now the good news and the bad news. The good news is that that is pretty much what I need to start forming and coming up with how to mount it. Now truthfully, this morning I made a lot of progress on thinking about how to mount it. I didn't have dimensions, but I knew that I had four to six bolt holes here and how far off I want the jet engine and how I want to structure the mounts. The bad news is that while I'm very good at manipulating things in my head and, and putting all the pieces together and where the holes are gonna go and how it's gonna mount and where the spacing is, etc., 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 I have to pretty much get it almost through to completion in my head before I can draw it or take it further. So there's not much I can share with you right now. I need to basically sit, have these numbers in my head, and just, just get the whole thing built in here, and then we can sort of progress from there. But like I said, I did make a massive amount of progress this morning, thinking about it, sort of manipulating it in my head and, and figuring it out. So that's very close. The downside is that I don't have access to a CNC milling machine or lathe. I don't think I need a lathe, but a milling machine would be like the ultimate. I've got a water jet cutter and a grinder. That's pretty much it. The water jet cutter can make a vertical cut and that's pretty much all I've got. So I've got to make do with what I've got and that's fine. I can still do a damn good job with that. It's just a little bit trickier.
Now very quickly, we need to talk about There's pretty much two things, I think, in terms of safety for this project. One, definitely, and one, maybe. The first is the maybe, and that is a break. Like, I don't know if the board needs a break. I'm not sure. I'm not, like I've mentioned before, I'm not going for some, like, land speed record. I'm not going to be flying down an airstrip trying to get, like, 60 miles an hour or 100 miles an hour. I did have thoughts about that initially, but as the project has progressed, I'm thinking, I'd like to just take the jet engine down to the shop, get some milk and come back, you know, save taking the car. And so I don't know how fast I'm gonna be going. It's just the novelty factor of being able to go to the shop on a jet-powered skateboard. In terms of braking, I'm not sure if I need it. I'm open to being convinced. If you can convince me and say, hey, I need this, then I'm open to that, go for it. The thing that's definitely needed, and I was convinced of this by my aerospace engineer friend who occasionally comments, Vincent, who really knows his stuff and really helped me get this project going by you know, guiding me in what size of engine I'd need and that kind of thing. Some sort of safety cutoff mechanism. I think it could be electronic, but I don't like the idea of that. I like the idea of being able to just shut the fuel off completely. So right now, this is what I'm thinking. This is the way the engine goes. This is upside down. The fuel goes in here, so it goes in through the bottom. I'm thinking very close to this fuel line. There should be like a shut off and I'm thinking maybe I tie it to my leg, you know, I wrap something around my leg and so that if I come off the board or step away from the board, it just rips out the fuel line or, or cuts it off or something comes undone. Because the fuel pumps through so fast, so should I fall off, the jet engine's only gonna go for a few seconds, I think, before it runs out of fuel because of that little bit in the hose, it's not gonna go very far. But I do think it's needed. I think this is the only thing that's really, really needed on this project. And, you know, Vincent convinced me of this because if I'm on the board and I'm going along and it's doing like five or 10 kilos of thrust, whatever it is, if I come off, my wind resistance is gone, my weight on the board and therefore the friction on the ground is gone. And Vincent said, it's, it's a rocket, it's essentially a missile. Kind of. Now that skateboard probably only weighs a few kilos, maybe three, four, five kilos, I don't know. But if that's gonna, yeah, like it needs it. I think that is, everything tells me it needs a safety cutoff. So I'm going with that for sure. Actually, just thinking about that brake thing again. I think if a brake was brain dead simple to do and was gonna be super effective and I just need to put something on, then I would definitely do it. It's just that, I'm not quite sure how it's gonna be done. Like, I'm not sure if it's worth the time and effort for something that might not really be used. I mean, I might use it, I don't know. I've got this servo here. And so perhaps that could push on the wheels or something like that, I don't know. Because it's not an electric skateboard and I'm not using motors to drive a belt and therefore the motor could be used as a brake. The jet engine is completely independent of the wheels, so the jet engine doesn't and can't perform any braking. So I'm not sure, if you've got thoughts on braking, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open to that. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'll maybe give you a rough outline of what I think will be the way I'm gonna mount the turbine to the skateboard. It's a little rough just now, I don't know how it'll come across because I'm gonna have to draw it on the whiteboard very roughly. And because it's not finalized, I can't show exactly how I'm gonna do it because I don't know yet. I think I should be able to get something across to you and, and sort of show you roughly my thoughts. We'll give it a go anyway, shall we? Now I'm not gonna go into detail and explain this to you, it is just a rough drawing, but hopefully you get the idea. Thinking about extending the jet engine off the back of the skateboard a bit, which you can sort of see here. And so this would be the main sort of rail, you might call it. And then from this rail, 
there would be one, two clamps on the left side and, you know, two clamps on the right side. So if you look at this one, this would be the left clamp at the back, this would be the left clamp at the right, and there would be ones in front of it, like those ones there. Now luckily, because I'm using titanium for all of that, I don't need to worry about strength or weight or anything like that. Titanium has the ultimate strength to weight ratio for this project. I could use carbon fiber, but no, like, I'm not set up for carbon fiber. I don't have any sheet that would... Actually, I do have carbon fiber. This changes every... You know earlier when I said I've got access to a water jet cutter and a grinder and that's it in terms of tools? Well, there's an excellent quote that ties directly to that. It's by Theodore Roosevelt. And he said, do what you can with what you have where you are.